This example asks us to find the domain of an absolute value function. This is a function that we need to know, have memorized, so that we don't have to do as much work to find the domain. It turns out that for an absolute value function, the domain is all real numbers. The way you will know its absolute value is it will have the vertical bars around a piece of your function. On here, if you have memorized that the domain for an absolute value function is all real numbers, then all you need to do is say domain is equal all real numbers, negative infinity, to infinity. To justify this, and this is something that you don't need to do, but I want to do for um, class purposes. To justify this, we can go to our y equals menu. If you have a function in there, just clear it out. The absolute values are going to be obtained by pressing second and then zero, which gets us to catalog. And the very first thing in the catalog is ABS and then a parenthesis. Just press enter there. That will either put in your screen ABS in the parentheses or it will put the absolute value bars as it has done with mine. And then just type in X minus 3. If your calculator inserts the ABS as opposed to the actual absolute value bars, you will have to use a parentheses to close off the X minus 3 function. I'm going to do a standard window. And then that results in the graph. The graph of an absolute value function is a V-shaped graph. In this case, it's a V-shaped graph intersecting the x-axis at x is 3. The general shape looks like this when I look at my calculator. And because my graph goes forever to the left and forever to the right, that's why my domain is negative infinity to infinity.